Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol GSAT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. A very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on this one. So a lot of eyeballs on this going into Thursday. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk about levels of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? And that would be if the price can stay up there above 49 cents. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that if the price falls below 49, that implies the entire chart is destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price could manage to stay up above the 49 cent mark, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. Taking a step back and looking at things from more so the big picture point of view, that is where the purple line here comes into play, the famous 50 period simple moving average. I get it, that line's way down here, the price is way up there, but keyword being moving. So as Thursday and Friday play out, that line's gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very basic, yet highly effective way to judge the health of the move, that right there being defined as the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How are you can best visualize that? That is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above 49 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? Main level of resistance going into the remainder of the week right up there at 51 cents. I get it, the price did temporarily spike up above there, but that didn't last very long. There's just uh, more data points right there at that level. So in my mind, the quote unquote truer level of resistance is right there at 52, because I think if the price can get a high volume break of 51, uh, then you know it's only a matter of time before the price gets up there to 52 and probably up above there. But well, first got to get up above 51 cents. All in all though, nice movement today, good volume. We'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.